Why do Muslims blow up the planes? That's the question of the title of this video. This is by One Message Foundation. I believe this would be a question asked to uh, Sheikh Osman. And without further ado, let's watch. Done. Feel free. You know much about Islam already? Oh, why not? I mean, it's always good to learn. No, no. Are you know about Islam already? Well, no, I'm a frequent flyer, and I can said you ask a question, right? Uh huh. Why do the Muslims always blow up airplanes? Good question. <laughs> Why do Muslims always blow up? Is it? Uh, Are you know about Islam already? Well, no, I'm a frequent flyer, and I can said you ask a question, right? Uh huh. Why do the Muslims always blow up airplanes? Is it always? Because I cannot catch that. Why is it Muslim? Is it always or something? Because if it's always that is quite interesting because how frequent did that happen? Good question. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, is it me, religious or is it? You want me to answer it or? Yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm a frequent flyer too. Yeah. And many, many kid planes have been kidnapped, have been hijacked and blown up by other than Muslims. So it's not really something you can say it's always yeah. Muslims, right? That's kind of a, a racist, stereotypical, prejudiced yeah, statement enough, to make. Yeah. Terrorism is not tied to any religion. There were Zionist terrorists before the state yeah. of Israel was made but the media, that blew up. The media make it look that way. There you go. There's your answer. The media <laughs> makes it look that way. Yeah, for sure. uh, but but. But do, do you know about Islam though? I mean, that, that's all politics, right? Yeah, look, I work in the Middle East, so I... Where did you work? I work in Dubai. Dubai? How do you like it? Oh, it's a great city. You like Dubai? It's yeah, I Technology advanced. Okay, that's bizarre because he worked in Dubai. So, I, I guess that question is just... Um, because he's just passing by and then... Um, you know, you can ask questions and that's just on top of his head even though I doubt because from his demeanor it doesn't seem that like that's the main cause otherwise he wouldn't be a frequent flyer anyway right? Oh new in Saudi Arabia interesting how's that come in the project? Oh it's too ambitious to be honest with you. Really? Do you think it's not gonna work or? They'll give it a go 500 million dollars. That's a lot of money. His Majesty will right. Wait, so you understand what Tawheed is? Well, I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, let me give you like a five minute explanation how that, or two minutes, or whatever you two like. Minutes is better, two remember. minutes. I'll give you count your, look at your time. Okay. Muslims have a belief that there's one great creator mm -hmm. who's never created himself. He's not a man, he's not a woman. You can't picture him into a monkey or anything like that. Mm -hmm. He created the universes, he created the world, he created all of us. He gave us design, he gave us purpose. He sent us prophets to guide us. We believe in Moses and Abraham and Jesus and Muhammad and all of them. Peace and blessings be upon them. We love them all. We think they all brought the same message. People corrupted the earlier books, but the Quran has been preserved, the final message from God. God. This is the revelation that is the words of Allah, not the words of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And Salam. our purpose in this life is to recognize our Creator and to worship our Creator, earn His mercy, and get into our everlasting paradise. Well, that's a good philosophy. Did How do you like it? Did it in two minutes. Wonderful. Two minutes. You like it? Let me give you a Quran for free. It's a gift. No, no, I'm you okay. sure? Yeah. All right, if you ever want one, come on down. Okay, Have a good day. Yeah. What do you know about this? Okay, so yeah, that's not a lengthy discussion about the title of the video it seems Muhammad very he was interacting with Gabriel in the cave there you go I heard when he came out of the cave he wasn't sure whether it was Gabriel or whether it was a demon and then his hmm. wife and his cousin told him oh no that was Gabriel nice yeah so that's thing I mean if you have never been uh, revealed to a message you don't know what's going on, right? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, he, he, was, he was concerned. Maybe I'm losing my mind. That's right. Man. But, but then that. the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah put around him those people that will console him, like his wife yeah. Khatija. Yeah. And then when Gabriel started coming more often, he told him, I'm Gabriel, I'm bringing the message to you. And then he'll bring news to him of the past about like what happened with Joseph and Moses, things that he wouldn't have known. Because, yeah. you know, he couldn't read or write, right? Uh. Yeah, and then like amazing miraculous things like linguistic miracles that the yeah, Arab absolutely. poets couldn't respond to. Yeah. So that's cool. That's so cool. Did he, know, he didn't know it was Gabriel. The angel didn't tell him it was Gabriel. He was did. He did. He did. Sure. Any later? No, no. Even at that oh, time, okay. right? But but I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Uh, because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Uh, the people of Mecca were pagans, right? They knew about Abraham, they knew about Ishmael, but he wasn't like a majority Christian or Jewish area. Like 
in Medina, there were more Jews and things. In Mecca, mostly it was idol worship, right? So this idea that Gabriel comes down to prophets and things, they knew about it from Abraham's time, but it wasn't prevalent there. Like they didn't yeah. read the Bible or the, you know, the New Testament or the Old Testament commonly in Mecca. Yeah. There were a few Christians and Jews, but mostly that was in Medina or outside. So for him, it was something amazing, right? Um, and this is why his wife and his, his supporters, they knew that he was honest, he never lied, yeah. he always kept his word. Yeah. So they knew that he wasn't going to make something up like that. Right. And then Gabriel showed himself in the real form. Like he actually saw him as Gabriel, right? It was amazing, yeah, yeah. He could like, see all around, he could see the horizon or something. He could, he could see that, that, that from the Earth's path where he could see in the skies up to his head, his wingspan covered the, the east to the west. That would be amazing, right? Yeah, Gabriel's big. No, nah, no, nah. Gabriel's not a human at all. He's, he's, he's an angel, right? But yet, like when he came to, or some of the angels would come to like Abraham and stuff. Right, right. They thought that they were humans. Or like because they would come in human form, yeah. right? Even to the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, the famous hadith about the five pillars of, of Islam and six pillars of Iman. Yeah. Gabriel came in Medina as a human, but people realized that he wasn't from there because his clothing wasn't dirty, so he hadn't come from travel. Yeah. His hair was jet black, you know, you know, when he came in, they didn't know him. Obviously, Medina was a small town, they knew everybody. And he had no signs of travel, nobody knew him. But he came in human form and he spoke to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and people saw him around him. And the Prophet then explained that this is Gabriel, right? So when he would come regularly in that kind of thing, he wouldn't come in full form. Imagine like, you know, you're just in Medina and then you see this huge angels yeah, come out. Uh, it would be pretty difficult, right, right. for people. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Even like alien city now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm with my family, man, and we own nice. with this museum. It's a crew if I grab a Quran. Go for it. Get a Quran. Let me get you a bag. I enjoy this. Everything you've shared. No, it looks like you know a lot already. That's impressive. I've looked so, a little bit into it. I think it's nice. absolutely fascinating. The nature of reality and the mind. And right, the right. I mean, the, the personal relationship. I mean, are you of a Christian background? Yeah, or? I'm Christian. All right, so let me get I you got this. An Adam and Eve one. Nice. This is about how my great love for Jesus brought me yeah. to Islam. So you kind of talk about how we love the Prophet Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him as well. Awesome. Are you uh, involved in a church or are you? Yeah. Are you what kind of? Chapel in Carlsbad. What kind of church North is it? Coast Cal Calvary Chapel. Calvary Chapel. Nice. We were just having a conversation earlier with the gentleman who used to be a head minister, or preacher, or something. But he said some strange things. You know, like oh, yeah? he didn't believe Jesus was actually God on Earth when he was on Earth. He said he, and then he said no, he was God until he gave himself up to the Romans. And then he no longer was, uh, I don't know, it's kind of confusing, you know, get, get confusing with all that, right? Well, it's always confusing though, man, like right? you're never going to properly understand it, right? Right, yeah, the like, Trinity is always <laughs> weird, yeah. Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing, right? I think, you know, uh, wingspan from the east to the west. And the, so right, right, oh, right, right, that's crazy, right? This, man, this has been mind-blowing, oh. so thank you. Really we appreciate, appreciate it, thank you, you. have a great day. Okay, so that's the video. Um, well, there's nothing much for me to comment on there, except perhaps when he first came, he mentioned about uh, the fact that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when the first revelation happened, um, you know, he 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 doubt perhaps himself and what's going on, and I do realize that many Christians that commented um, in previous videos. Uh, highlighted that as one of the things that make them doubt Muhammad was a real prophet. Um, I find that quite interesting. Um, I guess perhaps um, the expectation or the assumption is that for those who are aware of the previous you know revelations etc then that should be part of what is expected i guess i'm not sure or uh, they have the benchmark that a prophet should never be in self-doubt perhaps um yeah I'm, I'm not sure what's the actual issue or concern there but i do realize that that is one of the things that was highlighted a lot when people from Christian background especially talk about why they do not think that um, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam was a real prophet. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. Um, we'll see you next time.